by the senior stage management tutors here at Mountain View. Uh, and I'm Keegan, I'm the head of sound training here. So as you can't be with us today, we thought we'd give you a little virtual tour of the space. Um, Mountain View, if you don't know, is one of the top leading drama schools in the UK and we are based in Peckham in South London, so that is where you are seeing today. Um, we're going to do a little walk around the building, um, showcasing some of our workrooms, some of our studios, some of our theatres. We have two theatres. And we are going to start in our Mac Theatre, so if you want to follow me. So this is our Mac Theatre. Theatre, named after um, a very generous donation of a million pounds from the Macintosh Foundation. Um, we're very lucky to have this, it's completely our own, um, 200 seats in here. It's a completely transformable space, so at the moment it's set out um, end on um, in a standard kind of theatre setting. But these uh, seats can all disappear, we can raise this floor level and have um, performances in the round or thrust or promenade, however we, uh, we want it. So it's kind of down to the designer's discretion. Um, at the moment we are in tech, which is why it looks a bit weird and we have all these seat covers and tables out at the moment. Um, obviously when we go into the show mode, all of this will go away and it'll be a beautiful, lovely space ready for the audience to come in and sit down. I'll hand over to Keegan for some of the technical information. Yeah, down here during tech, we bring the lighting position down so they've got prime position to see uh, everything going on stage during the production process. Uh, equally, the sound designer sits at this desk and they have a live screen share of everything that's going on on our sound console upstairs. We're really fortunate here in Mount View in that uh, within the new build and moving into this building, we purchased all of our own industry standard equipment. So we own a Digico and Yamaha uh, and Allen Heath sound desks. EM Acoustic, DMB, KV2, speaker systems that is all our own to use. And in the lighting world, ETC uh, consoles, Roby, clay packy lighting fixtures, every single one that we own ourselves, as well as um, regularly hiring you know, industry standard, top of the range, new kits that our students get hands-on experience with uh, what's going on out in the industry right now. We like to get our students involved in the shows as quickly as possible, so we do one term of te quite intensive teaching right at the beginning of the year and then actually straight after Christmas we'll get you out on a show so you can get stuck in, uh, in a role with your peers, with professionals here in this space and our other theatre spaces as quickly as possible, hands on, getting stuck in and learning from professionals doing the job in real life. So we'll just have a little walk through here, we'll, we'll pass on through and move on to a different space. But as we're just coming through here, we can have a look at this prom desk. So Normally our prom desk um, would sit up in the tech box, um, it's down here at the moment because we're in tech, so our DSM, this is where they're living at the moment, um, and they'll live here until tech is complete and all of the lighting and sound cues and everything are all plotted in. Um, we have a state-of-the-art key light system, um, monitoring system and paging system, so we can do backstage calls to dressing rooms, as well as front of house calls to audience, letting them come in and tell them where to be seated. Um, this can be, is completely mobile, so we can put this wherever we want. So if we want the DSM to be sitting um, in the prompt corner on stage, we absolutely can. Um, I'm, I think for most of um, the upcoming shows, we're going to be up in the tech box, which we're going to have a look at later. So as we come back out into our foyer, um, I mentioned just over in the corner there, you can see an open door, that's going through to the Westland Cafe, um, brilliant to have on site, uh, amazing coffee, um, cakes, pastries and lunches that you can have. Um, we're also very spoiled as well because we have a brand new um, kind of bar, restaurant type thing open here. It's closed at the moment because we're very early in the morning, but it's called The Loading Bar and it is a, um, a gaming bar, so it has like board games, and stuff like that uh, that you can come and um, use. It's open to the public, both this and Western are open to the public. And we get a student and staff discount in the loading bar, which is amazing. We also have a, um, a restaurant and bar on the very, very top floor of our building called Skylight, which has recently opened. So definitely recommend coming and have a look or Googling that because it's stunning. The views out of London and over to uh, the Shard and into the city are pretty stunning. Um, yep, yeah, so if we follow me through this way, um, you can just see the barriers here, and this is almost where the kind of public facing parts of the theatre kind of stop. So past these barriers is what I would say is the, is the kind of training side of the building. So we have um, a beautiful atrium here, three levels of state-of-the-art studios. I think we've got 23 studios at the moment, um, all sprung floors, mirrors, um, basically literally brand new, fit for purpose. We'll have a look at some of those later. And just behind me, you can see um, the wonderful student services office. So they offer amazing support for students um, 
uh, all throughout Mount View. Um, we have a wonderful um, student welfare officer here who is dedicated to looking after students' welfare. Um, we have mental health first, first aid trained uh, st staff here um, and we offer a lot of support. We have counsellors and stuff like that that's available for you. Um, through here past the barriers as well, we also have a common room which is dedicated for students and a library, a computer room and a second kind of spare workspace down the end. Um, so we'll just head on into the backstage theatre and show you our second performance space. So this is our flexible studio space, we call this the Backstage Theatre. Uh, it's currently set up uh, as an end-on space, but it can be uh, set up in any configuration we want. Uh, most recently we've done productions in the round, we've do it, we can do promenade pieces, take all this out entirely and have the audience wander around the space with the performers and do whatever we want in here. We're really lucky as well, this is professionally equipped, just like the Mac, all the same links and facilities panels we can put, any of our operators, any of our tech, any of our equipment, anywhere in this space and do pretty much anything we want. Usually, it seats around 80 people. Uh, it's got all the in-house uh, dimming and PA systems and transmission systems, exactly the same as the rest of the building. All of the studios and venues here at Mount View are, are linked together with a network facilities panel, so we can run any lighting, sound, video equipment from any space into any other space, into here or into the Mac or into the rehearsal and performance studios as well. The brilliant thing about this space is that even though it's notice noticeably smaller, um, we are so lucky to have it because we essentially were able to replicate the industry now. So we have this amazing studio space that can um, replicate kind of more small fringy kind of studio um, venues that you might go out and work on sort of straight away. And then as your career develops, you might then end up in something like the Mac with a you know big 200 seater theatre and bigger. Um, so we're really kind of getting you um, as broader experience as possible for leaving here at, in in a good place. Um, the other thing that we do to make you kind of uh, industry ready is work-based learning. So what that is essentially getting you into the industry. We all have contacts. So the the amazing thing about us here at Mountview is we're not teachers. That's not what we are. We, we do teach and we impart wisdom and we teach you how to do things, but we are industry professionals. So we have taken um, you know, steps, a side step from the industry to come here and teach you to get you back into the industry yourselves. So we use our contacts and the, the places that we've worked and the people that we've worked in to get you out there and spend a week, two weeks, three weeks, six weeks, however long they can have you for, working alongside professionals in industries. We've just had people working on the Moulin Rouge, a rehearsal period and getting it into the theatre. We've had we've got people at the National. We've had people um, at the um, the Royal Court. Basically, anywhere that you can think of, it's likely that somebody in the TPA department knows somebody there, and we can get you in. So always, always tell us your interests and your kind of biggest dreams, because there's a chance that we might be able to get you there. Great. So we'll move on. the wonderful GC management office here. So when you're working with TPA, we do work closely with the in-house facilities teams because we get deliveries, we have, um, you know, stage management get a lot of posts, a lot of props coming through. We have lighting and sound that get deliveries from sort of white lights and autographs that come in through our, um, our kind of uh, bay out there. So, and these guys are your best friends, basically. Um, so if you follow me through here. So this is our scene drop. Um, closed off at the moment, but these huge shutters just open straight off into our yard so um, vans and trucks and lorries can back in and we can unload straight off lorries and straight into our theatre. And these big black doors behind Keegan just here, they open straight into the stage right wing. So all of the scenery, all of the equipment just goes straight in onto the on stage and it can either be rigged or um, fitted up however it needs to be. Um, if you follow me through, do you... If you follow me through to the workshop here. So this is our scenic workshop. We are, I'm going to say there's a lot about this video, we are incredibly lucky to have this and we have a dedicated team of carpenters, scenic artists and prop makers that provide all of the scenery, um, the sets, the um, scenic art and kind of bespoke prop, prop makes for our, all of our shows. So everything is built in-house and it just gets taken out of the shutters and goes straight into, into the backstage theatre or into the main house theatre. 
Um, we do run a scenic art and prop making course here as well. So if you are particularly art focused or crafty, that might be something that you're interested in. So it's still obviously entirely theatre, well not entirely theatre based here, they, they do um, kind of just generalised scenic art and prop making. We, they don't kind of uh, box themselves into theatre as it were. But if that's something that you think, oh, I thought I might be into stage management, but I really love making things, I'm really crafty, I'm really arty. Scenic art and prop making might be for you. So there's always, there's always options here at Malky. Um, if we have a look through here, you might have to see some examples of their work. So yeah, this is a beautiful, wonderful, messy, creative space. As you can see, anything goes in here. Um, loads of materials, um, random bits of kind of tools and stuff like that. A couple of examples of um, work that's been used on shows before. There's also some amazing photos and references for um, scenic art and props that have been made before, especially uh, prosthetics and things like that, which is just wonderful. And up on the very top shelf, if we can get it, uh, we can see three gold crowns. So they were used on Mr. Burns a couple of years ago. So the left one you might notice sort of recognises Bart Simpson and the one on the right is Marge Simpson. Um, very stylized and an incredibly uh, interesting show. You should just check it out if you don't know anything about it. This is one of our larger scenic cart and prop making work rooms. Um, again, loads of creativity going on in here. We do have a paint frame here, so any large kind of scenic cloths or elements that need to be painted can be rigged up onto that and um, tensioned accordingly and painted on, which is brilliant. Um, we also have some other incredible examples of work from our students up here. The um, brilliant thing about the scenic art and prop making department and the applied arts department is that they can help, they help everybody. So if stage management, if you need to make a prop for a show and don't quite know how to mould something or fix something together or the type of paint that you should be using, this department will help you. They are, they are brilliant. They will give you everything that you need, either materials wise they can help out with and even special like kind of... Um, uh, advice and speciality and stuff like that. They're also really brilliant um, with lighting and sound as well. So if they need to make a light box or something or they need to rig lighting in a specific way that involves carpentry, then the team downstairs will absolutely support that and help help them through. So it's a very collaborative environment. So um, yeah, it is for everyone. It's amazing here. Yeah. Have a look at some of the uh, artwork on display. Oh, I'll point out this model box actually. So these model boxes you'll see a lot throughout your time at Mount View and they are little to scale versions of the theatres. So currently they're obviously designing um, a show at the moment. So for every show that you see at Mount View there will be a tiny little version of it somewhere and it's amazing. So through here is our, uh, behind this wonderful signed door is our prop room. Um, it's incredibly full. But follow me and you can see everything that we can use on shows. So, we have a lot of storage for our scenic art and prop department as well, but everything from here onwards is all to be used on shows. So we have everything you could possibly need for a household. You know, glasses, bottles, cups, mugs, saucers, trays, anything you can need for that. We have lots and lots and lots of paper props, so various different kind of vintage newspapers and stuff like that that you can use on shows. Vintage envelopes, money, magazines. We have, excuse, it's, it's very full, so excuse the mess, but we have an entire kind of selection of, of a kind of everyday stuff, so bags, sunglasses, toys, flags, instruments. And then at the very end, we have lots and lots of storage, so crates galore, baskets galore. We have a, a very, very large selection of prop um, uh, flowers and, and foliage at, down at the end. This gets fuller and fuller every time we come in here because for every show that we do, we keep everything. Everything is so useful. So we actually need an entire new building ourselves just for our props, but uh, this is what we've got at the moment. Behind these locked cabinets is a whole array of weaponry that we use for our uh, theatre. So we have a range of handguns, shotguns, rifles, swords, daggers, anything you could possibly think of we have behind these doors. We also have um, a range of blank firing guns as well, so if the show needs needs it or requires it, we can make a very, very loud bang and make it seem very real. Um, our stage management students do get training from um, professionals to use weaponry in theatre, so it's all, it's all kind of above board and you can leave Mountain View with that kind of qualification in your back pocket, which is really brilliant.
So we're really lucky here to have a whole load of bespoke teaching and learning spaces here for our students. This is our main sound teaching room. Uh, we've got uh, a whole load of uh, IMAX purpose board with uh, Logic, QLab, Final Cut, video and sound software in this room. Some of our classes that happen in here might be uh, you know, radio mic training, it could be sound system training, it could be using uh, digital audio workstation training. Uh, this uh, room is available to our sound students, or well, to all of our students, to work on their sound training at, at any time. If there's not another class in here, there's a sound desk set up with a multi-track for them to practice on, uh, or they're able to come and use these iMacs for, for their own personal learning, their independent study. Uh, so we're really fortunate to have these bespoke rooms. Let's go have a look next door to the lighting training room as well. Uh, so here's our, our main uh, lighting teaching space. Uh, we've got um, 12 machines set up in here with uh, Vectorworks, AutoCAD, SketchUp, uh, all sorts of lighting design software, video editing software in this room as well. And as you can see around me, we've got our own uh, mini rig in here with uh, intelligent and generic fixtures. Our students get to come into this space in a safe, uh, non-show environment with low pressure experiences of um, the equipment they will be using in, the, in our theatre venues. We also have these portable lighting consoles, uh, which we can take around to different spaces, wherever the students want to just get, um, uh, get a little bit of extra time uh, practicing uh, programming. We even have a live feed link to uh, the Mac Theatre or the backstage on this screen, and our students can go to program along and have a real life experience programming a show with a professional lighting designer in this room on a visualizer rather than having to be uh, in that space all the time. So even if, um, you know, even if other students are working on the productions, uh, other students get to be in this space and get that same experience, uh, even though we can't necessarily get them uh, in the space uh, because of capacity. Uh, onwards we go. Great, right, so we're going to head back into the Mac Theatre, but we're going to be on a, on a level up. So we're going to get a slightly different perspective on what we can do in there. This is our balcony level for the Mac Theatre. Uh, there's an amount of seating up here, but actually this is a, an incredible opportunity for us to have uh, extra rigging positions. Up here is where our sound console uh, and our follow spots live. You'll see behind me we've got our follow spot positions up here. Uh, we've got our SD10 uh, Digico console, uh, exactly as you'll see in most West End theatres. Our students get a chance to um, see a show exactly as you would in the West End or a, a touring company. Um, on a production upcoming soon, actually, we swap some of this stuff out for um, equipment that uh, higher companies want us to try out, want us to uh, test, want us to give students opportunity to play with. We're working with a, a company to put um, follow me automated follow spots into a production soon, so we'll be swapping out our, um, our generic follow spots here with uh, automated remote control follow spots, uh, giving our students opportunity to play with something that's brand new in the West End. There's only a few shows um, professionally that are using that equipment, so we're really lucky to be able to do that from up here. we have the tech box. So as I mentioned earlier with the deputy stage manager who is currently downstairs for tech, when they get into the dress, dress runs and the dress rehearsals and the shows, they'll be sat up here with the lighting operator next to them and this is where they'll live for the duration of the shows and where they'll operate everything from. They have a wonderful panoramic view of everything going on on the stage as well as their monitors if they need to look at something a little bit more closely. Sometimes for a quite a heavily programmed play, for example, the sound operator might be in this box as well, but actually for a musical we we want to have the operator, the number one, in the same space that the audience is in, which is why our uh, sound position, our mix position is up here out on the balcony so they can hear exactly what the audience is hearing and get a real experience of what it sounds like in the room rather than being separated away. Should we carry on? Yes. Here we go. Uh, so this is our uh, tension wire grid area, I'll take you out there and show you in a second, but you can see all these cases, these are the empty flight cases for all the equipment that we own ourselves or have hired in that we've got set up in the space ready for our show, and now I'll, uh, I'll show you our tension wire grid. So we're really lucky here to have this really large tension wire grid in the space. Uh, this means that we can come out uh, on, above the auditorium 
all of our lighting bars are here. It's really easy to rig and get a direct view of the stage for uh, speaker rigging, lighting rigging. And this is such a large space that we can have uh, quite a few people working up here at once. But obviously we've got to be uh, very careful and very safe and make sure there's no one down below. Up here on this floor is also where our um, radio, mic, uh, radio mic rack would live. We've got 24 channels of uh, Sony Digital in this venue, 24 channels of Sennheiser 100 series in the backstage theatre. We're really fortunate here to have um, just that quantity of equipment, lighting and sound and to be able to work with it on a regular basis. Onward we go. We won't go entirely through here because um, there's people working, but just through this door you can see our costume department. They are wonderful. They provide all of our costumes for all of our shows. We don't have any students. There's, it's not a course that we run for students, but they are um, in-house working for Mountain View, and we work alongside them all of the time to so get to know them really well. If that's something that you're super, super interested in, there's always an opportunity there that we can get you involved maybe in dressing for a show or helping to assist at any point. But yeah, they have um, a wonderful kind of storage space over there as well. Before we move on as well, this here is the, the brain for the Mac Theatre. This is our dimmer room. This is where all of our facilities panels, all of our dimming, all of our audio control, all of our paging system lives in this room. And we can transmit any one of those signals to any one of our studios using the facilities panels purpose built into this venue. Uh, and this is where we get a, a lot of paper and a lot of plans and have to get everything exactly right, otherwise we end up with air gaps and things not working. Um, and so there's a lot of uh, time and energy and thinking goes into making sure everything's patched right in this space. So the brain for the Mac Theatre keeps us all running. Uh, onwards we go. Uh, so this is our uh, lighting and sound store and workshop. So if there's anything specific needs making, a uh, battery powered speaker, LED strip light, anything that needs to be specifically built into a proper piece of scenery for the uh, uh, public productions here, this is the space where our students and our professionals all work. We've got a, a stock that looks pretty bare at the minute because we've got a show on in the venue, but we store all our lighting fixtures, cabling, speakers, amplifiers, RF kit, video equipment, behind me up in this space, prep it all specifically for the shows, get everything labelled up, everything marked up, pre-patched, set up in here where we're ready to roll it into the theatre and we just take it into our loading lift, down to the venue or straight up to the tension wire grid and get everything rigged uh, from here. Through this door is another incredibly full storage space for stage management. So, this is where we keep all of our furniture. So in that storage space we saw, saw before that was a chock full of stuff, that was just props. This is dedicated for furniture. So as you can see, incredibly full. We have every, any type of chair you might possibly want. We have sofas, armchairs, some throne types, type things. We have beds, we have benches, we've got fridges, we've got filing cabinets, anything you could probably think of we have in this store or in the other store, so yeah. All of the stuff gets used on shows, um, and again, every time something is bought new for a show, it often ends up in here, so it can be used again and again and again, and we just keep kind of, yeah, reusing things and making, making wonderful shows. So this is what we call Work From Eleven, it's just the name of the room, but this is essentially um, one of our TPA classrooms. So stage management uses a lot for their uh, learning. Um, we also use it for various other things. Anybody can come and use this space. As you can see, it's in a very strange configuration at the moment because people have just been using it to do sewing or prop making, you know, you know, stretching things out on the floor. Um, yeah, we have loads of equipment stored in these cupboards, so we also have a lot more of our um, scenic art and prop making stuff stored in here, lots of different paints and um, kind of design aspects, we've got a whole cupboard full of sewing machines and then a whole cupboard mostly full of fake blood. So yeah, it's a very, it's a very interesting room. <laughs> this is Workroom 12, um, otherwise known as the production office. Again, a bit messy but it's okay because this is where our stage management teams live when they are working on shows. So everybody will have um, a station. Um, there will be, can be up to five shows working in here at any one time. One show might be on its way out as another one is just starting, but it can be, it's, it is a hive of activity in here. Again, lots of things being made, lots of paperwork being produced, 
lots of ideas being thrown around um, and it's a really um, sort of community style space the students kind of take ownership of this we let them um, this is kind of their hub so this is this is where they they live for a lot of their time at might be when they're not learning so around this corner we have a little kind of secret corridor here and we have well-being suites these are amazing and um, we'll show you this one at the moment so as you can see they're wonderful calm spaces and these are available for students to use whenever they need them. So if you're having a bit of a moment, if you are suffering with mental health or illness or just need to get away from it or maybe take a, an important phone call, if these rooms are free, then you can come and use them. They are wonderful. Um, uh, our uh, student welfare manager, she also um, will have meetings in here with you, so if you ever need to talk to her, she might bring you up here and you can have a lovely calm um, chat and kind of help to even things out a little bit as much as possible. As well as our wellbeing rooms and the general support that we also offer, one thing that's really important to us is when our students get out into the, the industry, that they're not just left out there on their own and they've got someone to talk to. So um, a drive for us here in the, on the TPA courses is before you leave and head out into the industry, into the big bad world, we uh, pair you up with a, a professional mentor, someone who's doing the job uh, that you're doing, someone who's you know, been in the place where you are, who you can talk to on a regular basis, who you're able to... Um, you know, just pick up the phone and call and be like, I've just started this job, I just need to talk to someone about something. There's a lot of work, I'm stressed, I'm under a lot of pressure, I'm out in the world, what can I do? So it's really important for us that you have someone to go to, as well as us, uh, as, you know, the people who have trained you and the staff here, being on hand in general, because we, you know, we, we want to make sure that we're not just abandoning you. We ensure that we link you up with a, a professional mentor out in the industry uh, to, to support you and guide you on your journey, especially as you're just starting out. So out here we have a selection of uh, other workrooms. These are just uh, generic spaces, some with uh, tables and chairs, some with screens, but uh, they vary in shape and size. Uh, and they're um, bookable for uh, ad hoc reasons, whether that be, you know, we need a costume fitting, whether that be we've got a production meeting, or whether that be it's an independent workspace for students when they're working on projects. Um, they're, they're bookable and flexible and usable for whatever our needs are that change uh, on a daily basis. They're not necessarily permanently booked for any one purpose, uh, but there are some rooms that are used for um, uh, more general tasks or more regularly by certain departments. Yeah, so actually we're standing outside work in 10 at the moment, which is um, otherwise known as the hub. And this is where our creative producer students tend to spend a lot of their time. So it's really great to kind of bear in mind when you're at Mountview, you're not just working with your fellow uh, production art students, you're not just working with performers. We have producers, we have directors, we have musical directors, we have people that are interested in working in film and radio. So there's, there's so much going on in this building and a real community vibe. Like the, the arts just don't kind of start and end in, in the Mac and in the backstage. Like there's a whole industry of people working in here that are going to go out into the world and you will be able to make contact with as you go out to the world as well. It's brilliant. So we're going to have a look at some studios now. This is one of our rehearsal studios. Um, it's currently actually being used for our acting showcase rehearsals. So our performance students, not only do they do their um, productions at Mountview, they also do professional show reels which then go on to uh, agents and stuff like that. And we, we've kind of shifted our showcases from doing uh, in-person traditional style ones to them being filmed. So they're currently rehearsing at the moment, they're in very early stage, hence why it's quite an empty room. But our, one of our student uh, deputy stage managers is working with, on, with them at the moment and this is where they are spending their days alongside the director and they are helping to um, realise this vision and um, finalise this kind of um, wonderful selection of different scenes and songs and kind of action that the performers will be showcasing in order to hopefully get an agent and then go out into the industry. As well as uh, you know, being really well equipped for the, for the performance students, a very lovely, uh, beautiful space with uh, uh, ventilators and sensors outside and a, and a lovely sprung floor. Each room also comes equipped with a, a basic sound system, uh, a screen, zoom capabilities if anyone's not able to make it into rehearsals and we can uh, get 
musical instruments of varying types dependent on what is required, whether that be a piano in this space or uh, guitars or uh, you know anything we might need for any given production. These rooms are of a size and accessible enough that we can uh, get in here kind of whatever we need to make that rehearsal process as, a, as efficient and effective as possible. So this is one of our breakout spaces. Um, we have these on all three levels in the atrium and they are all themed slightly differently, which is pretty cool. Um, these are usable for um, literally any kind of breakout activity. So that could be that people are working in rehearsals and they need to come and just uh, spend some time on their own or with one other person to run lines. They can do it out here. You can also um, come in here to have lunch or um, food or anything like that. But these are completely kind of communal spaces that we can use throughout our day. So we've just popped into another studio because this is actually an active rehearsal space for one of our productions going on at the moment. So it's quite cool to be able to see it kind of um, coming to life. So we've got mirrors over there, uh, which um, they use specifically for chore choreography and learning chore choreographic numbers. And also when they're learning their techniques like ballet and jazz and stuff, that's really, really useful. As you can see, the ballet bars over on this side of the wall as well. We have all of our research that the students have done for the show. And then if we look at the floor as well, we also have a mark out. So this is an exact replica of the set as it will be in the backstage theatre. So we kind of mark out the dimensions of all the different levels and stairs and um, balconies and stuff so that when they rehearse, they know the dimensions of the space that they're working with. So when they get into the theatre, it suddenly comes, rises out of the floor and they see it all in 3D for the first time and it's um, not such a sort of surprise. It's really great. We're now back in our atrium space, we're on the second level, as you can see our wonderful skylights at the top of us here. It's getting a little bit noisy because our students are joining us to start their day. We have about 500 students uh, in Mount View, all mixing together. And when you first come to Mount View, it's likely that you will live in Halls, which is about a 20 minute walk away. It's shared with other London universities as well, and we have the University of the Arts as well over in Camberwell, just down the road. And um, well, the brilliant thing about that is that you're not just living with Mount View students, you are expanding your network from the minute you come to London starting to make different friends, making new um, connections and um, just kind of starting to really get yourself a really lovely base in London. The other brilliant thing about Mount View, as well as our 500 students, we also have um, a few resident companies that live in our building as well. So we have um, the British Youth Theatre, we have English Touring Theatre, we have Kanduko as well which work with us. We're also fully accessible for um, any kind of accessible needs and fully inclusive as well. So it's a really, really wonderful and inclusive space to be in. Blast of music coming out of the studio, which is, which is the world we live in at Mount View here. It's a wonderful space. Uh, we're really uh, proud of the, the students that have come and worked with here. Obviously, uh, you know, the musical theatre performers, the, uh, the acting students, but within the, the TPA department, the theatre production arts, uh, we're always telling people out in the industry about um, where our students are and what they're doing. Uh, even right now, we've got students that are working uh, in stage management and the national, in sound on Phantom of the Opera, uh, Book of Mormon. Right now, we've got students out over there. And throughout the West End, we're just um, really proud and um, driven to get in, uh, our students out uh, into those jobs, their dream jobs, jobs that they want to do, jobs that they, they've dreamed of getting involved in, in London, in the West End, uh, national tours, and across the world. Well, that's it for our tour. Thank you so much for joining us, and we really do hope to see you here soon.